Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm okay, I'm so excited. Before we get into the I am so excited about this. You guys know I've been on YouTube for a while now. I'm about to hit 2 million subscribers, which I'm really excited for, and I'm still trying to figure out what to do, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about something really exciting for me and for anybody who liked the ASMR video, video that I did. Uh, okay, I've been wanting to do an ASMR channel or like a second channel um, for a while. And today I'm going to announce my new channel, which is ASMR Everything, and it's called Scale. So welcome to Scale. Uh, at least if you decide to join, you guys can go and subscribe to that channel. I'm gonna leave a link for it just in the description below. And I know so many of you are gonna be excited about this, and then so many of you are like, I really don't care, I don't wanna see you do ASMR. So yeah, I won't bother you uh, with any more of it on this channel, I don't think. Uh, so if you wanna see my ASMR content, it includes things like, very satisfying sounds. And I'm really into ASMR myself right now, so this is just like a passion, passion, passion project. And uh, yeah, I really like the microphone, so I, I just think this is gonna be exciting. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get this big hair. Uh, I've been wearing my hair more confidently lately in its natural state, and I really like this. This is, I'd say, about 90% dry right now. I've got a lot of definition and I've got little piecey bits. I actually cut my hair. I just kind of like chopped up into it and I gave myself a little bit of a refresh. I feel like it looks pretty good. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. My hair is not perfect. I just have to disclaimer that, uh, but let's get into the video, okay? Okay, you guys know the drill. First, we start out with hair that is like a couple days old and it's definitely really tangled. That's the number one issue right now. It's also super dry and the curls look bad. I still haven't found a way to make my hair look good day after day the way I can do when I use heat on it. So when it's curly, it's like the first day is always the best and then extending the style is kind of difficult. But uh, I'm gonna wet my hair and start detangling it because that is key. Before we go to wash day or like washing or rinsing the hair, I always have to detangle it because this is my only opportunity opportunity to do that. So once the hair is saturated enough, I'm gonna use this product. This is a total like luxury. If you can afford to buy this, it's not that expensive, but it's like you would run through this really quickly. And I got sent this as a gift. So for me, it's just something that I'm using because of that. I don't know if I'd ever spend like the money on a detangling product, but if you really have tangly hair, it's probably necessity, a total necessity for you. Uh, but I don't know, I just try to make sure that I detangle my hair often enough and then I won't need to use something like this because it can just be expensive. You guys know how expensive curly hair products are, so adding one more into the mix can just make it insane. But this is something that actually does work really well. It makes the hair really, really silky and slippery and I've never felt my hair be this silky, so after I applied it, it makes the brushing process so much easier. So you guys know I have this boring old brush. I always use this brush. Like, I don't even know if there's another brush that's better than this. I've literally only ever purchased this one and I'm detangling my hair as usual. From the ends up is the best way to do it. And I actually learned something. If you align the brush vertically instead of horizontally, the brush doesn't get caught in your hair as easily. It aligns the bristles so that you can brush your hair more seamlessly. It's kind of annoying to hold it like this, but if you have a section of your hair that's like really knotted, definitely try aligning it vertically instead of like the traditional horizontal way. My hair takes a while to detangle and normally I'll really speed through this process, but I wanted to show you guys like how intensely detangled I like to get it. I go through every single section from top to bottom, but I always start from the ends and work my way up because that means you won't compound the tangles, which means that it's gonna be a lot easier and you won't lose as much hair. During this process, I do lose hair though. Speaking of losing hair, this is something that always happens when I wear my hair natural. And I don't know if it's an illusion, but I always feel like I lose more hair when I wear it curly versus when I blow dry it, which is a big deterrent for me wearing it natural. 
that's one of the main reasons I choose not to because I feel like I lose more hair but I don't even know if that's true it just once I brush it out I've got like a handful of hair uh, and then I wash it and then there's more hair that comes out so I don't know if you guys are like this uh, or if I'm the only one but let me know in the comments below what you think okay so I'm using my favorite shampoo and conditioner literally this is my absolute favorite right now my hair is low porosity if you don't know what that is it's basically where hair uh, water and moisture doesn't enter your hair easily and it doesn't leave your hair easily so if your hair is dry it likes to stay dry so for low porosity hair this makes my hair so shiny I don't know if you guys can see in the video but like my hair is really really shiny and I'm just showing you my favorite microfiber towel right now because I always use these like literally I will never use a normal towel on my hair to absorb the water uh, but yeah that shampoo and conditioner it's actually unreal like it's my absolute favorite but it would only work for somebody who has really dry coarse hair which is not easy to find stuff that works for that okay this is like a skincare tip but this makes logical sense to me I like to put oil on the areas of my hair or my body that my hair is gonna touch so I'll put this on my shoulders and like my back and my neck basically anywhere where my hair is gonna rub up against my skin because I feel like when my hair is so dry and it rubs up against my skin it creates friction and it makes it more frizzy so if there's oil on my skin then at least it absorbs the oil and it makes it less frizzy now i'm gonna use i'm gonna start layering products which is something i've started to do a little more intensely my hair really reacts well when i layer a bunch of products so i'm gonna start with a leave-in conditioner to of course condition the hair and just like keep it really really hydrated the way I like to apply this is not only scrunching, but also just like taking random sections and running it through. I'll do like the prayer hands method where I run my hands back to back on the hair and I always dip back in. I've added more product than I ever have in any of my curly hair routines. Normally, I don't add that much product, but I just feel like my hair reacts well. So that's what I've been doing lately. I realized what would be a really good idea is to take like a product that could react under a black light and apply the product until you think you've saturated your entire head this would just be a cool video idea and then like take the black light and see what the product actually made it to like sometimes i'll apply apply product and i remember doing this in a video where i like literally thought i was saturating my whole head and i only got it on the back of my scalp and it was like that must happen so often so i would love to see when i think i'm applying product all over my head am i actually or is it like just an illusion okay now i'm gonna scrunch my hair and then i'm gonna go in with my next product this is this is a curl plumper uh pretty cool i like the way that this feels it's like a gel but it's a little bit more runny and it's definitely not crusty this one i'm just gonna saturate my hands i like to use it like a moisturizer on my hands before i apply it so i'll put it everywhere and then even on the backs of my hands that way when i touch my hair no matter what area of my hand touches the hair the product is like going onto the hair i just feel like it works better that way so now I'm going to do the same thing where I'm taking individual strands and just like saturating them with the product. And this is what's going to give me that really PC end result that you guys saw. I'm also going to run this up into the, uh, what do you call that, roots to give me a little bit of a plumping effect. Plump, plump. Uh, and then just any of the areas that would normally be frizzy. So for everybody else without super damaged, blow dried every single week with like, so much heat for like years and years people without that kind of hair would probably just have like normal wet hair but if i don't do all of the steps that i'm doing in this video my hair even when it's wet because it's low porosity and the water doesn't like stay in it easily or get into it easily there'll still be like a layer of frizz even when my hair is like almost soaking wet so when i can see that my hair looks really nice like this it looks like shiny and honestly i wish i could stay like this all day because like i love the wet look but when it looks like this, I know I'm off to a really good start and that's because of all the product layering. Okay, now I've got almost all of the product that I'm gonna put in it. I'm just gonna take away the excess moisture because don't forget the hair is still like really, really wet. Now I wanna talk about fashion really quickly. This is so random, of course, for a curly hair routine, but I just wanna explain something. I always dress a certain way when I wear, I always feel like I have to dress a certain way when I wear my hair natural, but I'm starting to challenge that and I want you guys to challenge that too because sometimes when you struggle to wear your hair natural, it's because you think you have to like look a certain way. I don't know if I'm the only one, I doubt that. And I think that's because in ad campaigns and things like when you see a girl wearing fancy clothing or like dressed up, you'd never see her with like a natural hairstyle. You'll always see like a blow dry, no matter her ethnicity. And so what I'm doing now is like stop. Uh, I don't dress as casual when I wear my hair curly and I dress a little more like formal. And I really like the way that 
it looks like i feel like it looks pretty when you mix textures because our hair is so texturized that like why wouldn't you mix a pretty lace texture or something like a little more um delicate so yeah i just wanted to mention that really quickly because it's all like a mental game when it comes to like wearing your hair natural because it can feel really really strange and like out of place when you're not used to seeing it especially if you live in a place where nobody has hair like you so yeah i just wanted to encourage you guys to wear your hair and like experiment with fashion okay hello to this blow dryer this is like the coolest blow dryer ever this is my new little guy that is like so cool it works like a hand so basically the air comes out of the fingers and it diffuses your hair so well like this is actually worth the money this is one of those things that if you haven't had one uh, like a diffuser in general, I would not even get a regular blow dryer. I would just get this one if you plan to wear your hair curly a lot because this one works way different than a regular diffuser. And I noticed my hair, like in this video, my hair has not looked like this in a long time. I don't know if you guys can like vouch for me, but like my hair looks curlier and piecier and better. And that might be the haircut, but I'm definitely telling you that this blow dryer killed it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys liked my hair. Uh, this is how I wear it when I wear it natural and that's everything I wanted to show you. I love you guys so much Please don't forget to subscribe to my ASMR channel scale again. There's a link in the description below. I love you guys so much. Bye. -bye.